<laughs> and then we're back because we never left. Because I like this new system that I've hopefully figured out. Hopefully. Wake ran for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. Oh, you turned out the lighthouse. Even the How is gone, Jack ever going to find Rapture down. now? Ah, oh, jerk. Oh, I do like that even. I like that even less. This this feels like right out of freaking Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider games. All right, here we go. We're we're we we're, we're going. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, you know what? They if the darkness really wanted me to die here, they could have just you know put a bunch of um, like freaking. Are you a big guy? No, I think you're just a normal dude. Uh, like freaking things that would be throwing at me right there and just clonking me off. That's that's what it could have done if it really wanted me dead. Let's not beat around the bush. You have a lot of problems, Alan. I do. I do. Um. Oh. Lights out. Since Hi, fake Frank doctor. Here, Alan, and let me just I'm not Frank, I'm Alan. I am that you've had this breakthrough. I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious. The car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, Dude. but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. You, uh... That the injury is affected you you there? You realize. okay there, TV yeah, head man? I have had bad headaches. Yeah, yeah I can I can imagine that. Your head's a TV. Combined with your you put your head that close to a TV for that long? Jeez, it's bound to give you headaches. Extremely poor impulse control. That's a dangerous combination. One which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. If you have in impulse control problems with the TV, I probably... I don't you know, think I'm exaggerating when put I new say batteries you in your are existing remote. in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In Is your self-service to... your personal problems are assets like, that allow you to save What? Alice I know it's not real, so what, 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 what are you trying to do? I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but... You're also dead. Um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You've My fingers so getting tired holding this button. Imagination into this self-deception, but what good has Soft fingers. done for you? You refuse oh, I can I walk over here? Do I get in the shot? Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing Come on. for your wife? Show me the t show me the wide view. Probably not. Oh. Well, I guess that's it then. Find out. You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wants what? to hear. What? Oh, hey, that sounds like fun. What? Why you? Why you freaking look at me, me now? I don't got. I don't want to do none of this. Can I just leave? I could just leave. Come now, Mr. Wade. Apparently, I could. It wouldn't be guilt that makes you avoid this, is it? No, but. All I no. wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male drama until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance and self Childish temper. <laughs> I'm leaving. To drag you out of the hole you insisted on Bye. for yourself. I hate you. Don't need to hear this. It I saved nonsense. my wife. I knew I had saved her. I'd succeeded in that. And that was all that mattered. What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. It mm -hmm. cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. I mean, you know, clearly she didn't hate me. She wanted to help me because she brought me to this crazy place to talk to Dr. Hartman, who in the end turned out to be an evil psychopathic uh, like mastermind who wanted to control every aspect of my life and use me to write some sort of crazy story that probably would paint him as like Superman or something and you know use the darkness to his own ends but um you know she had she had good intentions 
She had good intentions. And that's the thing that matters the most. And then, you know, I spent a long ass time save fighting to save Wifey. And now Wifey is safe. So, Darkness, you have failed. You have failed in your mission to make me consider whatever it was you wanted me to consider in that room, other than leaving, which I did. I considered it very hard, and then I chose to do it. I'm gonna hide in the airplane now. This was a smart decision. Because there's a video game in the airplane. And now they have to be funneled in one at a time. Haha! -ha. Yes! You cannot get me in here. You're, you're, you can't throw through these little windows. You can't climb through that little ledge. Oh, so sad. You're too, you're too good at running. But you, you sacrificed your ability to run. You min-maxed. You decided to, like, upgrade yourselves to be able to, you know, jump in and out of reality and uh, be protected by a shadow barricade. But in turn, you lost the ability to climb. Wait, no, that's not true. That one guy climbed up the bridge. You guys just sucked. Y'all are just terrible. You're just the worst of you guys. I'm, I get into the bottom of the barrel here, I guess. These are just the dregs of the team. Power light. Go! Wonk. Wonk. Uh, this. Oh, boy. Gosh, there's a lot of you. Oh, come on. Oh, whoa. Hey. Hey, no, no. No, not cool. Ow, ow. You, you and your freaking double hits. No! Oh! Ah! Mm. Excuse me. I am trying to kill your friend here. Now, would you please just, just chill? Just chill. Just chill. Okay, you know what? No chilling. No chill. No time for chill. Joe Chill ain't here no more. It's Alan Wake time. Alan Wake time. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more conserving power. Ah, wrong button. Ah, wrong button. There we go. That's the right button. Yeah. Sound and fury. Isn't that one of the songs from the old gods of Asgard? I feel like it was. Hi, man. Bye, man. Bye, me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, you a big guy. Is there a light up here I can just step into? Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Uh, bye bye When my eyes can't see you, your eyes can't exist. Therefore, you can't exist. That's how ostriches work. Which means I'm an ostrich. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! You got the last laugh there, I guess. Uh, just gonna dodge out of the way of that, I guess. Woo! Whoa. Whoa. Nope, didn't manage that that one. But, uh, I'm gonna just stand in the light and make you disappear now. Take a moment to catch my breath. I can hear you out there. I hear you walking around. Fools. You can't touch me. Hey, Zane, what's up? Well done. You have come far, but there's still a little I know. further to go. You must take I know. I need to become a Jedi mind. still. Reject all of the fantasies you have constructed. God, I yeah, must well, unlearn what I have I learned. I can do that. A lot of the stuff I've seen here is personal and ugly as hell. I'll admit it hurts, but it's not fooling me. I know it's fake. Good. You are aware. The part of you bent on self-destruction is not. But you must be careful just because you know the lies for what they are. That doesn't make the danger any less real. I'll make it. Got it. I don't it. have any choice. Here. I cannot come any further, but this will help you on your way. Thanks. Yes. Well, I mean, look, if I didn't realize that the kind of fuzzy people in the room with the man that was me with a TV for his head wasn't real, I feel like I'd have bigger problems. Or was, you know, if I, if I thought that it was real and not fake, which I knew it was, 
I'd feel like I would have bigger problems. Can I light up the moon? Oh. Memory. Hey, let me tell you something, Alan. I yeah? know how your mind works. You screw up, then you start analyzing it, and before you know it, you start writing all these horror stories in your head. Don't you? Come on, I don't do that. <laughs> I mean, I mean what? Yes, you do. I know how it goes. You're a complete failure. I hate you, and I'll never forgive you for whatever it was that you did. Am I wrong? Oh, man. See? I know you. <laughs> but, Alan, it's all in your head. It is. I love you, and I'm not going anywhere. I know, wifey. I went somewhere. I went somewhere to get you. Because you went somewhere. But, but, but now you're somewhere and I'm not in with you. But I will be soon. I will come to you. Maybe if I, why, why can't I reach the light? Why can I not ignite? Oh, I have to walk up the hill a little bit, that's all. Dynamite? Oh no! We turn back on the light! Whoa! That is a lot of light. That is a big bunch of light that we got right there. Nice! Oh man, that means that the darkness is gonna try to come at us and it's just gonna get cronked. Just gonna get super clonked by that. Coming! There were too many of them! Hordes and hordes of them! Swarming over the landscape, eager to kill! They were I got flares. Me. And this time they would get it with sheer numbers. Sure. Sheer numbers? Right. But, um, I have a lighthouse on my side. So... Your numbers mean nothing. See, an Alan and a flashlight had to live a lighthouse. Yes, they did. And that makes three light sources in the darkness. And that's a magic number. All I gotta do is clear the way for my lighthouse friend. A lighthouse friend just gonna make your day go real bad. Oh, so bad. Oh, you've had a bad day. The light tore you down. Alan Wake's coming, gonna put you in the ground. Cause my lighthouse is big. It's gonna light you up. Gonna burn to death. It's gonna probably suck. You've had a bad day. I'm not gonna lie. My lighthouse is gonna kill you. And... No matter how hard you try. Oh, you had something bad. They, they're, they're just, they're all dead. All dying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you think you're actually gonna be able to get me here? Come on, man. Lighthouse. Thank you. Uh-oh. Yeah, this one looks like it might actually be a little, a little bit tough. Oh, nope, it's not. Ha uh -huh. Are there any behind me? You didn't spawn any behind me. You fucking... You freaking fools. You freaking nerds. Ow. Uh, lighthouse, a little help here. Thank you. Well, since we're kind of safe right here, let's look at our lighthouse friend, because I don't... I think there's a light up ahead for a checkpoint. No, not really. So I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna chill here for a minute and uh, let Lighthouse deal with this. Thank you, Lighthouse. Um, so thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate you if you've gotten this far in the video even more, so that you can hear my message saying goodbye to you. Uh, thanks for watching. I want you to be safe and stay awesome. This is Dasher. Signing out. Bye.